So this power supply right here is louder than the console is when it's playing Call of Duty. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. What's going on guys? So here in this box is a used Xbox 360 Slim from GameStop. And although it's not a special edition, it kind of is a special edition because it comes with like five or six Call of Duty games. And I just ordered it a few days ago and it actually came in like two days, uh, which impresses me from GameStop, two day shipping. Um, trying to step their game up, I guess, from uh, to compete with like Amazon and um, Target, all those kind of big retailers. But we're gonna open this thing up, see what's inside. As always, be careful with your knife, unlike I'm doing right here. Let's see if we can get this thing open. Um, so as I said, this is used. It's not refurbished. They're slightly different. Um, used means that it wasn't fixed or anything. It just it is how it how it was uh, returned by somebody. And so let's go ahead and see. So. Got our classic brown packaging on top, and we got our packing slip here. So they actually gave me two packing slips. The first one just shows the system, as you can see, it's Xbox 360s, 250 gigabyte system um, with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So they call that $47 and then $4.70. Really odd how those numbers are so similar. And here we go, five more games. We got Call of Duty 4, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. So a bunch of games, a bunch of random prices, mostly really cheap, except Black Ops 2 is almost 12 bucks for some reason. And so if you add all those together, it's actually not too expensive. I think this thing all in all was 80 or 90 bucks uh, with free shipping. So not too bad to be honest for six games plus the 360. So here are all the Call of Duty games. Uh, surprisingly, it looks like they all came in their original case. You know how GameStop sometimes likes to give you those cases that are, um, you know, pretty generic. But this looks like it has everything, all the real cases here. So Call of Duty Black Ops, except <laughs> this one is completely jacked up. That's I would have rather had a generic case than that thing right there. Like, dang, that's that's pretty it's pretty bad. Uh, it's just completely shattered at the bottom. But we got our manual in here, got our disc. Next up, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now this case actually seems to be in really good condition, and we got our disc in here, and some random stuff. Even the Xbox Live Gold trial. Um, I'll flash that up there. If it's still valid, then go ahead and try to use it. I doubt it is valid, though. I'm sure somebody used it. And there's even a season pass. Um, oh, you have to buy it. I thought it was going to be another code. <laughs> and then third, we got Black Ops 3. Multiplayer plus zombies. Now, this case looks to be all right. Um, all it's got in here is the disc, though. So no manual or anything. And now we got Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. And this case, if you can't tell, it's kind of jacked up. Um, it looks like there's actually some hair kind of stuck to this glue right here, which is weird. Uh, the top is kind of creased, and honestly, it looks like this the cover has been run through the washing machine or something. Uh, it's all wrinkly and stuff. But we have the manual, we have the disc, so the case does close, but it's a little bit crooked. Oh well, I guess. And next up, we got Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this case looks to be in pretty good condition, and it's got the disc. Uh, got a code. If you want to try that code out for something, go ahead. And for some reason it has Indiana Jones 2 in here. Oh, we got a receipt. So this is actually the receipt from when they originally purchased Modern Warfare 2. Um, let's see, what, what is the date? 2011, wow. So that's nine years ago, that's crazy. And last but not least, we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The case looks to be in pretty good condition. We got the disc, got the manual, which is folded over for some reason. But it is in there, pretty good condition. So I'd say we were like three for six. Three of the cases were in uh, pretty good condition. The other three, not so much. So here's what we've all been waiting for, the actual 360. Let's go ahead and pull it out and open it up and see what's inside. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Uh, so it says it includes the 360 console, the controller, the AV cable, AC cable, and of course the free 30 day guarantee. And so you can get the original 360, the Slim, or the E. This is supposed to be the Slim, but of course they don't check it off. So too lazy to, I guess. And this was checked by last name Jed, Jeb, Jep, not sure. And then nothing over there. So it's kind of rattling around a little bit. I'm hoping that's not a bad sign. Well, let's go ahead and open this thing up and hopefully the console is actually in there and intact. You never know though. So here we go guys. Let's see what we've got in here. So first we have the controller which is 
um, in okay condition. Joysticks are like really worn out. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but uh, it's basically down bare bones. And other than that, it's pretty decent. I think it even has batteries in it. Yep, as you can see, it's got batteries. The next up, of course, we got the power cord that I don't care about. I've um, got the power brick. I mean, hopefully it works, but other than that, I don't care about it. And then, is this the HDMI cable? That's a interesting looking HDMI cable made by GE, I guess. I'm not sure why they put that in there. I guess it's just what somebody returned. And then down here at the bottom, we got the actual 360. Look how scratched up that is. I can't even count how many scratches there are on there. It's like somebody tossed it in a dryer and just let it go ham. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out now and see what we're dealing with here. All right, so I guess we can take a look at the back of the console to start with. So we've got our, uh, where you plug your power in, um, AV, HDMI, uh, some other USB ports, blah, blah, blah. And in case you're wondering, you can see here that it was manufactured in 2010, and it is the Xbox 360 S console. So now if we look at the sides, pretty straightforward, kind of like this graded finish on both sides, as you can see. And then if we open up this one side, there should be the hard drive in here. It should be 250 gigs, I believe. I'm not sure how to tell but it's supposed to be 250 gigs. The front is in okay condition. Again, there's a bunch of scratches and smudges and uh, stuff. This little door right here is actually working. I've seen a lot of 360 consoles where this door, the spring just breaks and it doesn't work, but apparently this one actually works. And if we take a look at the bottom, of course, there's more scratches and scuffs. And now as we flip it back to the top, you can see the infinite number of smudges and scuffs again. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I even took a look at the fan, and I can't tell yet, but it looks like the fan might be broken. Uh, we're going to see when we plug it in and see if it actually works. So let's go ahead and turn it on, try the games out, and make sure it works. All right, guys, so I got this thing ready to go. Got my HDMI cable plugged in. Got my power cable plugged in. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So it's got the little sensor on it, which is nice. Uh, you don't actually have to press anything. You just kind of guide your finger over on it, and it turns on. And there it is. There's our startup screen. One of the classics. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video grew up with the 360 in like your, I don't know, middle school days or something. Um, but the aspect ratio on this thing is really far off. I guess I can fix that in the settings, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and try to turn this controller on and see if it works. So at first glance, it looks like the batteries are dead or the controller is broken. One of the two. Let's go ahead and replace the batteries and see if it works. Okay, so I got some new AA batteries in there. And there it goes. <laughs> Seems to be working now. Seems to not be syncing, so let me go ahead and press the sync button on both the console and the controller, and hopefully it'll sync up or not. Come on, dude. There we go. All right, so it seems to be syncing. Controller seems to be working now, which is a good thing. Now let's go ahead and test a button. So press the A button, opens tray. That's a good thing, kind of a two-in-one test. Make sure the button works and make sure the tray opens. And I guess the fan is okay because I haven't heard it making any weird noises. Uh, it's just when I looked at it, it looked like it had some issues. Um, but man, I can't go it over how many scratches are on this thing. Like, that's just, that's bad. All right, so now we're gonna quickly go through each game and just make sure that they can be recognized by the Xbox. I'm not actually gonna play each game, otherwise that would take forever. Um, but we're gonna make sure it loads up and actually recognizes it. So where it says reading, um, it should show up a little thing that says what game it is, hopefully and we shall see all right so should be playing the game and now it's telling me the content is blocked by family settings are you kidding me into your family settings passcode how am i supposed to know that <laughs> i just got this thing from gamestop and it's got a passcode on it wow so i guess i'm gonna have to figure out how to disable <laughs> these parental settings this really sucks and right after i said that i realized the controller disconnected uh so hopefully that's not a bad sign <laughs> oh man this is not going well so far got a scratched up system got a controller that disconnects and we can see that we can play modern warfare 2 but uh how do we actually play it oh there's the family settings let's see if we can figure this out real quick so how do i change the family settings if i don't even know the passcode and there we go the controller disconnected again that's that's no, that's a bad sign all right guys so the controller is officially not working anymore. <laughs> they just started disconnecting and now it won't even turn on. That's that's bad, dude. Let's try to reseat this and maybe it'll turn on. There it goes. It's turning on now, but that was that was bad. So I'm not sure how to fix these family settings. Maybe I can just reset the whole console. Um, but to be honest, I'm this is not looking good, guys. Maybe 
Yeah, I don't... Um... I'm not sure. This is not good, guys. Let me go ahead and turn off autoplay so it doesn't automatically try to play the games. Alright guys, so I just scrolled down to initial setup, which as you can see is grayed out. And the reason it's grayed out is because it says start the original system setup, which is what I want to do. But it says you can't perform this initial setup if content controls are on. If you want to do this, then turn them off in settings. But I can't turn them off because I don't know the family password. Dude, this is jacked up. How do you ever fix that? If you guys know how to fix that, let me know down in the comments, but it looks like this thing's going to back to GameStop because it looks like I got screwed. All right, so let's make this video not a complete waste. Let's go ahead and make sure all the games actually show up, I guess, on the home screen. Obviously, I can't load them up and see if they work because I can't do anything because I have family controls on, apparently. But let's go ahead and see if it reads it. And if it reads it, then I'll say it's working. I don't have much hope at this point. But let's go ahead and see. So play game. And there it is, Modern Warfare 3, so that's good. That game is working, so that's two for two. And let's try Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Let's see what this thing's got going for me. I can almost guarantee you, at least one of these games is not gonna read. All right, so this one's reading up. I know you guys can't hear it, but I can hear the console doing its thing. And there it is, play game, Call of Duty 4. All right, that's good. All right, so Black Ops 3. I'm just waiting for the one game that doesn't work. That disc felt a little bit thicker than the other ones. I don't know why. That's just strange. Come on. Let's focus, please. Come on. Alright, so it's reading up. Console sounds extra loud, but it says apparently loaded up. Console is making kind of weird noises. Not sure why. But uh, let's just move on to the next one. So Black Ops 2. All right. I bet you Black Ops 1 is not gonna work because it's the most valuable game here. So just by that logic, it's not gonna work. But this one's Black Ops 2. Let's see if this one works. All right, so it's reading, play game, and Black Ops 2. Okay, that's good. So, so far we're five for five. And last but not least, we got the original Black Ops. Hopefully that one works. It'll be our one saving grace. These are the games at least work. At least as far as I know. If I don't actually load them all the way up, you never know. There might be scratches all over the disc and it might not play past the first five minutes. But let's just go ahead and see if it shows up. And it does. Black Ops. Nice. So at least the games show up. All right, guys. So let's do a quick recap of what happened. So I got this used 360 from GameStop. Um, as you can see, it's scratched up like crazy. Smudges everywhere. Seems to work, but it's just scratched up like crazy. Uh, the controller seems to work, the joysticks are pretty worn out, um, and it disconnects sometimes, unfortunately. And it came with six Call of Duty games, which all six seem to work, um, but I can't really test them out because the big caveat to the system is that it has family controls on, and I can't reset the system without turning off family controls, but you know, I bought this used from GameStop, and I don't know the family controls password. So... Basically, this 360 is a brick to me. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. And have a great day.